Hello guys, welcome. Uh, very unexpected uh, live, I want to say. What's going on is uh, obviously if you guys know uh, or have seen my channel, I uh, mentioned that I was moving. So uh, I'm here at the, my new place, uh, getting things sorted out, moving things in. Uh, this week and next week, we're finally moving in. But um, I wanted to just do an unboxing for the Lodge Enameled uh, USA enameled cookware. I got two of them in today and uh, I'm here at the uh, my new place. I don't have any Wi-Fi so I'm using my phone uh, to do the live stream. So just so you guys know I am using my telephone. Uh, let me know if you guys can hear me pretty well. Let me know if you guys can uh, if there's any issues let me know but let me uh, actually look for a blade so I can open up these boxes and we'll get into it. Oh, bear with me, guys. All right, guys, I'm back. Oh my goodness, just dropped. I found a nail uh, from the construction work. So hopefully we can use that to open up these boxes. I can't find the blade. Once again, thank you guys for showing up. I know I didn't plan to do this live, uh, but I did figure, you know, right now would be a good time to do the unboxing for the Lodge enameled cookware. And I'll showcase it to you guys. So. Uh, we're just waiting for more people to show up. I think right now we have about nine people. Let's see. Uh, let's see what you guys have been talking about. If I can bring up the chat. Nope. Here we go. It's bringing up the chat. Uh, hello, Granny Graham. Hello, Debbie. Mercy B. Hippie Longshanks. Says audio is good. Thank you for that. Uh, Nesha's uh, River Catfishing, thank you for showing up. All right, guys, thank you guys for showing up today. I know a very unexpected live, um, but for those of you that are here, I appreciate your time. So let's just jump into the uh, the enameled cookware. So uh, let me move the camera or my phone, I should say. Here we go. Alrighty, we're gonna do our best to uh, place it over here. Let me turn on more light. Okay. All right, guys. So this is the uh, new enameled cookware that Lodge has recently um, brought out, and uh, it's nice because they finally made a USA enameled piece. Uh, I unfortunately was not one of the uh, lucky three hundred uh, in the beginning. I couldn't, you know, when I. I remember when I got online and uh, I checked to see if I was able to get one. I remember placing the code and uh, the code wasn't working anymore. So um, at that time, I, th I figured that the code had been used up all, you know, all by everybody. So um, I, I figured I was not going to get one. But I think two or three days later, um, since I am the uh, moderator on Facebook uh, for the Lodge website, or I'm sorry, for the Lodge group, um, they, you know, the group there was notifying me saying, Hey, uh, if you're still, you know, looking for the, uh, the original 300, uh, with, that comes with the, uh, like the paperwork, like the number and all that stuff, then, um, then you can still get yourself one, which, uh, I did. I jumped online, put in the code and sure enough, it worked. So I'm, 
I'm lucky to have gotten one, but that one's not here yet, guys. That one uh, will arrive, I think, next week. And uh, that one is the, the white one, the three, I'm sorry, I think it's a three quarter or a three liter. I'm sorry, a three quart. It's a three quart. This is the four and a half. Over here, we also have the blue one, which is a uh, six quart. I didn't get the, uh, um, I think it's a seven quart or seven and a half. I didn't buy that one, but I did get this one. Um, and my wife bought me one for Father's Day. So very uh, excited, very grateful for that. <clears throat> and I actually, I so I have more coming in, actually, to be honest. I have some from Lodge as well. Lodge, since I'm part of the uh, Lodge group, um, and, you know, they're sending me one. Um, so I'm, I'm going to have an extra white one. But anyway, this is what the uh, packaging looks like. Obviously, this came in a box. So uh, I do like how beautiful this is. There's a lot of attention to detail on this. You guys can see. I'm trying to show it to you guys. Here, you, uh, if you guys want to read, it does say, um, an animal cast iron Dutch oven uh, made in the USA with imported stainless steel accents. So a lot of people were upset that this, uh, or that the accents or the, like the knob and the accents on the handles were from, I think they're from China. So a lot of people were upset, but uh, what a lot of people don't know is that um, Le Creuset and Staub also source um, the knobs from China as well. They're not made in, in France, um, except for their cookware. But anyway, that's the, uh, the, the uh, you know, some information here. We also have some on the, uh, on the top side. This is the cherry on top, and it's actually trademarked, which is pretty cool. Um, so that's the box. A lot of cool stuff. A lot of cool stuff in the back. Designed in Tennessee, made in Tennessee, rooted in quality. Uh, from the skilled hands of American craftsmen, each piece of U.S. enamel is cast and perfected in our hometown, inspired by legacy. For more than 125 years, our commitment to cast iron excellence has pushed us to create and innovate with meaning, designed to break the mold. From broad handles to the just right feel of the knob, every single detail has been thoroughly tailored with impeccable style. So, I do like this a lot. This is really cool. All right. Enough of that, let's jump in and take a look at the, uh, the enamel piece. <clears throat> and I, just so you guys know, I haven't actually seen these yet, so you guys are seeing them with, with you know, with me, uh, so. You got that, there's a little, um, you know, there's a lot of attention to detail. This is a very pleasant experience, very exciting experience uh, to uh, unbox this. Oh, we got a sticker, so we did get a sticker. And what else did we get? Oh, that's about it, yep. Actually, no, that's about it, yeah. All right, this is the top part. And this is a color. Hopefully the lighting here will do it justice. But, I mean, these are amazing in person, I'll be honest with you guys. The color is very, very nice. It's a very bright red. It's not very tame, I'll tell you that. Um, very simple underside. They don't have the uh, dimpled or any kind of, um, like, basting, except for these rings here, perhaps, but that's mostly, like, on the outside. Um, and again, this is the four and a half quart. But very beautiful color, guys. This is what the uh, stainless steel knob looks like. For those of you that were wondering, once again, these stainless steel knobs are not made in the USA. They are made in China. Um, and a lot of people were upset about that, but I don't mind. Like I said, uh, Le Creuset also uh, sources their stuff from China as well. Designed in Tennessee, made in Tennessee, pretty cool. There's a little bit of lettering down here. This one says U4, uh, liter I want to say but if we're looking at the enamel um, even the uh, black rim or you know like it looks like bare iron here it looks like they did hit it with some enamel maybe a black enamel like a matte black enamel and then obviously the white interior and the red color on uh, the exterior so the, the uh, lid very beautiful <coughs> And 
and this is the uh, Dutch oven very awesome I do like that you can see the uh, the contours here very unique design to be honest pretty cool and I do like that because um, I thought you know oh this is this is extra iron so it's gonna be extremely heavy but no actually it follows the contours on the inside as well um, we get some goodies here we got the enameled cast iron care kit, which is just some plastic knobbies that you can put here so that way uh, you can store your cast iron. A little dusty. So very beautiful four and a half quart Dutch oven. Once again, this is the, uh, the accents here you can see on the handle. Very pretty. I think they did a great job. And um, my video quality isn't gonna do it any kind of justice, but this, uh, this accent here looks great highly polished looks very and it doesn't look cheap i'll be honest with you guys it doesn't look cheap um this one here though i'll be uh i, I can already see a defect on this one let me stop moving it so much but the e on the bottom on this one the accent it's not very pronounced so it didn't get etched in very well and uh, it's a little difficult to catch here but you can see the bottom of the e there's a little bit of a like missing uh, the engraving. Uh, it's pretty heavy. I won't say that it's not. And just so that you guys know, I think you guys can see it here, you can see the shadows. So the contours actually follow inside as well. So if you guys can see that, the contours are inside. So it's not thicker, you know, iron here. And it actually follows throughout the whole entire Dutch oven. So you can actually see the contour come along here as well, which I didn't know that. So yeah, you can see, um, very beautiful, I'll be honest. I do like it. We have a little bit of, you know, I thought there was somewhat of a lip on the rounded edge here, but there is not. Can you guys still hear me? Let me know. I, I, like I said, I don't have internet here yet. I don't have uh, Wi-Fi yet. <clears throat> oh, the underside, I almost forgot. Hopefully you guys, like I said, you guys are still here, but the underside, this is what the, the underside looks like. Lodge cast iron, USA enamel, Tennessee. Pretty cool. And uh, down here it does say U4 ID, I think, or U4 one, or I don't think that's a, I don't know what that is. I think it says ID uh, 4.5 quart or 4.2 liter. All right. So that's the underside here. If you do want to remove these um, these pieces here, the uh, accents, they do provide you know screws here, so they're not necessarily like you know just placed in there to the point where you can't remove it. So that's nice. And like I said, this color very beautiful, and the enameling on this impeccable. I mean, I don't see any kind of defect at all. It looks great. Very very beautiful. Also, little details here, just so you guys see, there's uh, some contours on the underside of the handles as well. Very unique. I like seeing all these little things that they don't really showcase. Um, and now that I have it in my hand, I can see all the little details that went into it. Once again, like I said, pretty cool design. This one, once again, this is the uh, cherry on top, trademarked. This is a color that they went through. <clears throat> So here is the uh, four quart with the uh, lid. I'm gonna pick you guys up so you guys can see a little bit better here. What do you guys think? Pretty awesome. I think it looks really, really pretty. Um, very great color. I, I do like the reds. Uh, I have, I think, a blue one. I have a blue and a red and a white, um, like other, the older, ver the Chinese made ones, but I, obviously these are a little bit different tone, different color, but um, for the first time being, you know, uh, in the enamel game, I think Lodge knocked it out of the park. They did a great job. But once again, they did a great uh, job with the lids, the colors, and um, picking this up actually makes sense. This knob here, the way that uh, it's made, 
It actually makes sense and, and it's easy to hold, easy to grab. So the, the design might look funny to you at first, but um, it's actually very functional, very easy to hold. And I wanna say if you're gonna be placing this in the oven and uh, you wanna take the lid off and you have mitts, that's um, gonna, this is gonna help out a lot because it is pretty tall as well, not very short. So I think a, a thicker mitt is gonna be uh, able to grab this with no problem whatsoever. But once again, this is the uh, cherry on top, four, quart, four and a half quart um, lodge enameled, USA enameled. So it does look really, really nice. Now let's jump into the six quart uh, enameled piece. I'm gonna place you guys back here once again. <clears throat> A little tour of the uh, new place. So you guys can see. We're still missing some, uh, we're still missing a lot of stuff to be honest. But I'm glad that I got a bigger sink as well. So definitely a very welcome addition, sink. And um, yeah, so anyway, let's get back into the cast iron uh, cookware. Let me move this one out of the way. All right, guys. And oh, for those of you that get the standard stuff and you guys weren't lucky enough to get the uh, the 300, the original um, does come with these little grommets here for your lids and a booklet. So pretty cool little booklet. And uh, oh, this one came with a sticker as well. So I might actually just give this away with a cast iron. But anyway, that's what you get in the box. All right, now let's go with the blue one, but where did I leave? Oh, here's the nail. Like I said, guys, uh, you guys are unboxing with me because I haven't seen these at all yet. So hopefully I can actually open this without ruining the box. All right, I think I did it. Okay, great. And this color is the uh, smooth sailing, sailing, I'm sorry, smooth sailing. I don't know why I'm having such a difficult time saying that. Uh, yeah, this one's the blue one, six quart, so a little bit bigger. This one is obviously a lot heavier. And uh, here we go. So you guys can see trademarked color as well. So smooth sailing, trademarked. Enameled, once again, very, very good looking box. They did a great job. I do like that a lot. Once again, rooted in quality. Uh, what else do they say? Inspired by legacy, designed to break the mold. So, pretty much the same thing underneath. Let's open this up. So when you open the box, just so you guys can see, this is what you are greeted with. Oh, another sticker. Nice, so we get another sticker. Wait, or is that the same one? No, yeah, we got another sticker. Anyway, so when you unbox this, this is what you're greeted with. This is what you see, pretty cool little unboxing experience. So let me put you guys back down. Alrighty. Blue is a very nice color. Very, very pretty color as well. So, I'm over here looking at it while not showing you guys. Uh, so yeah, this is the uh, sailing, what is it? Smooth sailing? I think smooth sailing, sailing. God, I don't, I feel like I'm not saying it correctly, but anyway, um, a little bit bigger, obviously on the lid. This is the six quart. Once again, no, um, no difference here with the lids, but either way, pretty cool. The lid isn't that heavy, so I do like that a lot. And once again, the, the handle is very comfortable to hold. Also comes with its uh, own grommets and a little booklet. This booklet is actually in better shape than my other booklet. <coughs> okay, let's take her out. Got a lot of dust in these. Lots of dust. All right, you guys. For 
form the mess. Alrighty. Once again, I mean, this looks great with the, uh, you know, with the handles and the color is spot on. I do like that a lot. The underside as well, very beautiful. They did a great job. So yeah, I think this right here, this lighting right here, you can, this is the actual color. So if you were to pick one of these up, this is the actual color. So it's not that dark, it's actually a pretty bright blue. Um, I'll be honest with you guys, it's very similar to the, uh, the blue from their uh, Chinese made uh, Dutch ovens. So I, I thought it was gonna be a different hue, more of a navy blue in a sense, but it's almost the same color because I also have one of their, one, you know, like the five quart that you can find at Walmart. I bought one for my sister, and so she has that one and um, she uses that one all the time and it's this same color. So I, I really don't see a big difference. I think I would have to do a side by side to see the difference, but the colors are very similar to their, uh, you know, their current stuff, their um, made, in, made in China enamel wear. But this one, the, the uh, trim pieces look a lot better than the other one. The engraving a lot nicer and everything is the same on this one as well you can see the contours on here it's all in you know uh, follows and flows from the outside to the inside of the Dutch oven here you can see the um, the angles as well and uh, it's a great size this six quart is a great size uh, I don't have any measurements with me so I can't really tell you how how big it is but I want to say this is similar to a um, Le Creuset in the size, especially the handles. So I, I like how wide they are because you can fit your hands through the handles really well. So that's nice. And same thing, you know, it's got a little bit of a contours on the underside of the handle along with the screws. So overall, the enameling on this is really great. You know, Lodge did a great job. Once again, this is the six quart. So I think they knocked it out of the park with these. <clears throat> All right, there we go. That is the blue, or what do they call it? Smooth sailing. And we got the cherry on top. Move these boxes out of the way. There we go, guys, so you guys can see. And I will bring you guys around so you guys can see. Now, I'm just missing the white one, but I, like I mentioned, I have two on the way of the same size. One is gonna be uh, one of the originals, and the other one is gonna be one that was sent from Lodge. But once again, the red one and the blue one so yeah I think they did a great job and it looks like there's um whoops it looks like there it's not necessarily bare iron here on on the uh, it looks a little treated this one here you can see a little overspray of the white color on the uh, rim here don't know if the camera or my phone can pick that up but a little bit of overspray of that white here not a big deal but like I said, for their first time, I think Lodge did a great job. And uh, given that this is our first time, you know, in the uh, enameling process, I think they, they did a great job. They, they definitely took their time to research it and do it properly. So there we are, the uh, four and a half, the six, and I think there's a seven and a half and a three quart. I think those are the sizes. And, uh, this one retails for I think two twenty nine or no I'm sorry, two fifty nine. This one retails for three hundred. Yeah, two fifty nine ninety nine, two hundred two ninety nine ninety nine. The uh, three quart retails for two twenty nine ninety nine, and the seven and a half I think retails for three forty nine ninety nine. So yes, they are pretty expensive, but to be honest, guys, I think um, the price is justifiable because obviously they had to. Bring in, they have to bring in all the equipment. They have to pay their workers, you know, a livable wage. 
uh, versus Chinese labor. I mean, we're not going to get into the politics of that, but uh, there's a reason why, uh, you know, a lot of manufacturers decide to go to China is because it is cheaper labor and less expensive. So that's where the prices, the price cuts come from. But if you want something very, you know, very well made, you're going to pay a little bit more. And I think Lodge did a great job because uh, the, I, th I think Le Creuset's six quart is like 350 or 400 for their six quart. And if you want a seven quart or seven and a half, I think it goes for like 450 or 500. So pretty expensive to be honest. So I think Lodge, as I said, did a great job and I'm very happy with the, with, you know, their new lineup. I'm, I'm hoping that they're going to add a lineup of uh, skillets. And if you guys saw the uh, YouTube video, if you guys haven't seen it actually, Lodge did do a YouTube video um, of the process of making their enameled cookware. I do recommend that you guys take a look at it, go watch it, it's here on YouTube. And uh, if you guys pay attention actually in, in part of the, uh, the that little documentary that they did, they showcased a Finex lid that was enameled. So uh, for those of you that might not know, but Finex is owned by Lodge. Uh, so if anything, uh, we might even see uh, enameled cookware for Finex, uh, perhaps down the road, just depends on how um, well received their enameled ware is. So, uh, you know, that's something that I'm hopeful for, but uh, you know, we'll see in the future. But let me uh, see what you guys are talking about. Let me look at the uh, comments. Let me set you guys down. <clears throat> oh, all right. Nope, no, that's not a good spot. Let me put you guys back over here. All righty. Sorry, you guys. Want to see what you guys are talking about? Let me know. Let's let's see what's going on. Let's see. Great deal, Lodge. Uh, BMF seven eight three one. Thank you for showing up. Debbie says they are beautiful for. I can't see my phone. Let me see. Let's see if I can scooch this over. She, uh, Debbie says they are beautiful for sure. John and Liz can make them for, oh yeah, John and Liz uh, from Burrow Furnace, they make the black ones. They make a black Dutch oven, yes. That is why Lodge couldn't say the first enameled cast iron cookware made in the USA because that had already been done by Burrow Furnace. Yes, but they did say the first colored enameled pieces in the USA. Debbie says, that's how I got my Le Creuset, uh and in this, oh, you got an estate sale. Okay. My wife bought herself a Le, Le Creuset and she was actually trying to get the uh, special edition um, Star Wars. I think she was trying to get the, uh, what, what, what was it? The um, Padme? No. Uh, Tatooine, Tatooine. She was trying to get the Tatooine uh, Le Creuset Dutch oven. If you guys haven't seen it, I didn't even know about it until she said it like maybe a week ago. I was like, you were trying to buy one? She's like, yeah, but they were like $900. And they sold out. Uh, she says, I even woke up early, but they sold out when I, you know, jumped online, they were sold out. And I said, you know, and obviously I wasn't necessarily into cookware back in 2018. And, uh, you know, I jumped online to see uh, if that was true. And sure enough, she was right. Uh, they were nine hundred dollars. They were special edition, and there was only like, I think three hundred of those or less, uh, of those Dutch ovens made worldwide. So, super rare. And uh, for those of you know, for those people that got those Le Creuset Star Wars edition, those are pretty cool. Oh, hey Rick, good to see you. I didn't see you earlier. And you said lifetime limited warranty. Yeah. And what Lodge means by lifetime limited warranty is obviously they cover everything. So if something happens to your Dutch oven, just with use, uh, the, you know, for whatever reason, the enamel starts, you know, cracking or, or, or having issues, they will replace it uh, just as long as it wasn't, you know, misused. Obviously, if you're going to, you know, throw this in an oven or, or over a campfire that's over 600 degrees, or you throw it in, um, you know, coal or, you know, like a live fire and you place it directly on the coals. Obviously, they're not going to warranty that because that's, that's, you know, user error. And 
they're not going to cover that, but they will cover anything that, you know, for your enamel piece. If there's any issues, they'll take care of it, which is great. <clears throat> Bookworm73 says, I have a piece of the Star Wars. Cost me a fortune. Wow, you got you got one of those? Which I know they made a Vader and, and I forget what else. They made Tatooine. They even have little ones too. I didn't even know about this. This was back in 2018 when they, I think it was, yeah, it was 2018 when they brought those out. Let me move these boxes. <clears throat> All right. For you guys that are here, and I know I was very, very, you know, not announced, but I do appreciate your time. For you guys, I am doing a giveaway today. Don't know exactly how to do this. Don't know how to do this at all because I don't have uh, anything to do raffle this with. So uh, let's, you know, let's um, let's come up with something, guys. How can we, how can we uh, raffle this cast iron skillet? That is a 12 inch. This is a 12 inch um, dual handle skillet from Lodge, brand new. We're gonna raffle that along with the stickers. So for those of you that are here, as I mentioned, I appreciate your time. And uh, once again, I know that I didn't plan to do a live today, but uh, here we are and I just wanted, I was so excited to receive these today. I wanted to showcase them to you guys um, and I wanted to open them up because obviously I couldn't wait. So, um, and I figured it would be better if I do it, uh, you know, as a live rather than record and then upload it. So for those of you that are here, I appreciate your time. Let's see. How can I raffle that, the uh, skillet away? You guys have any ideas how we could do this? Actually, what I can do is I'll write down a, or, you know, I'll, here, actually, do I have a pencil? I don't have, actually, hold on, give me a minute, guys. I think I do have my tablet. Let me go see if I can go grab that. Hippie Long Shanks, the sink and uh, the stove are the most beautiful. Thank you, Hippie. Appreciate that. Bookworm73 says, I got the Han Solo casserole. Oh, that is awesome. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, man, I feel like I got something stuck in my throat. All right, let's see. How can we do this? Forgive me, guys. I am like choking on something. <coughs> <coughs> Went outside and <clears throat> there's like a lot of dust. We have very um, stormy weather right now. I don't know what what it, what's going on, but <coughs> oh man, oh this is horrible. <clears throat> All right. Oh, I do have the random number generator, so we're gonna do that. We'll raffle the uh, twelve inch. Uh, skillet and uh, we'll end with that guys for today so let's see let's do a um, random number and uh, let's do to 100 so actually no let's just do to 200 since we are we're most of you guys are used to that so for today <clears throat> this is not sponsored or endorsed by lodge nor is it sponsored or endorsed by YouTube uh, once again I, I do like saying these things um, because it you know it, I, it's necessary um, this is something that I do for the viewers. This is something that I do for all of the uh, all the subscribers. So I appreciate everybody. I appreciate everybody's su uh, support. There's going to be a huge giveaway and um, something very big for when I finally move in here and when we do like a um, housewarming stream. 
So um, look forward to that. But for today, we're doing this, this 12 inch brand new uh, dual handle pan. So one to 200, like I said, not sponsored or endorsed by Lodge. This is something that I do for the viewers as a thank you. So with that, let's do a random number. One to 200, guys. <clears throat> All right. So you guys can see here, we're gonna place it, the numbers in here. Hopefully everybody's ready. Let me take a look at the chat. I think everybody has placed in their numbers. Once again, guys, once you guys have placed your number, make sure you guys don't change it. Once again, that brand new 12-inch uh, skillet is up for grabs. All right, guys, let's do this. So as I said, 1 to 200, here we go. Good luck, everybody. 121. Who is the closest to 121? Debbie at 127. Debbie is the closest. Oh my goodness, what happened here? Mm, yep. Debbie, you are the winner. Oh, I'm sorry. Is it Debbie? Yes, Debbie, you are the winner. You are the closest to 121. So, Debbie, congratulations. Um, please contact me. Uh, you can find my email if you go to the website. So, if you go to the YouTube website, uh, and you go and type in my um, YouTube uh, uh, name, you can find my information on about. Uh, just scroll to that page and you can find me there. If not, after this video uploads, if you get if you can't find me there uh, or find my how you know how to contact me, then go to the um, the uh, comment section here. Uh, let me know, know you know send me a message or post a comment yet better yet, and uh, I will respond to you there. So. Congratulations to Debbie. Thank you. And I know that you guys are always here. And uh, <clears throat> I do talk to Rick here and there. So uh, Rick and I have become good friends, even though we haven't met in person. But I consider Rick to be a really great friend. And uh, Rick has, uh, you know, uh, expressed a lot of uh, gratitude with, with me. And I, I want to express the gratitude that I have for you guys as well. Uh, it is because of you guys that I do the YouTube lives. It's because of you guys that I do the uh, unboxings and the reviews. Um, but I do it all as well because it's something that I love. And I know it's something that you guys love. So once again, this is a thank you to everybody that joins. Uh, and, and, you know, like I said, there was no news of this. There was no, you know, no any kind of, uh, of you know, like letter letting you guys know that we're, I was going to do the live today. So. Um, not only that, but I did it uh, one hour later. So with that being said, I appreciate everybody. Debbie, you are the winner of the uh, brand new 12 inch cast iron skillet along, along with the uh, stickers. I'm gonna send these to you as well. So once again, thank you guys. That is gonna be it for today. Um, actually, before we go, do you guys have any questions on the enamel pieces? Let me know before we go. <clears throat> I know Cynthia, Cynthia didn't get to join us today, which, you know, I'm a little upset myself because I should have said something. I know, like I said, guys, this was last minute. Hippie Longshank says, uh, thank you for inviting us into your new kitchen. Thank you for joining the live stream today, Hippie. I know that, like I said, you guys have many things that you guys could be doing, but you guys are here watching me unbox the enamel pieces from Lodge. So I do appreciate that. So yes, let's see. Do you guys have any questions on the cast iron cookware, on the enamel pieces? Let me know. Do you guys, you know, I, I was talking throughout the whole uh, 40 minutes that we've been here and I haven't asked uh, if you guys had any questions. So let me know. Let's see. I'm going through the messages here and seeing what I can find. Let's see. Bookworm73 says, actually, will stores carry this? Uh, I don't know yet. I have asked those questions, but uh, I think they're trying to work that out. If anything, I want to say that possibly it will be available like at higher end retail stores like William and Sonoma, um, Dillard's, 
possibly Macy's. Uh, I don't think that they'll have them at Walmart, to be honest. I, I really doubt that these pieces will be at Walmart because they're, they, they're expensive, you know. You can't really expect somebody at Walmart to, you know, go there looking for higher-end pieces, um, you know, or higher-end pieces of cookware, for that matter. So I, I really don't think Walmart will have them, but I do think some retailers will. Once again, I feel like William and Sonoma, Dillard's, Macy's, and some possibly some other uh, you know, uh, stores, higher end brand stores. <clears throat> uh, are they only producing Dutch ovens? Jeanette, Jeanette, um, uh, from what I know, from what I asked um, the, um, the person that I, you know, I, I, I don't know what she is, but she's, she's part of the lodge team. Her name is Sarah. So I'll let you guys know. Her name is Sarah. She's the one that tells me all this stuff. Um, uh, Sarah, I asked her, I said, can you give me some more information? So when, when I do a review on these, I'll have all the information for you guys. But they might consider, depending on how well the Dutch ovens do, they might consider doing the, uh, the uh, skillets. Now, whether they're going to use the current ones that they have now or a new design, that I don't know. But most likely, we will see a skillet. And not all of them, guys. I want to say maybe a few uh, whether I, I want to say maybe a skillet and a Dutch, uh, I'm sorry, a dual handle pan. I feel like those would be in the works. <clears throat> Jackson Walter, do you know what you want uh, in it to cook in it first? Have you also seen the Enamel Fine X leaks as well? Yeah, uh, J uh, Jackson Walter, I did actually see. I was mentioning that if you guys saw that live stream on YouTube on uh, when was it Tuesday? I think it was Tuesday around 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, I think it was 8 p.m. Eastern. They did a YouTube live and they, you know, pretty much streamed their documentary on making this. And it, in that documentary, you can see a lid from Finex and it was actually in a bluish color, but that bluish color was like baby blue. So if you guys didn't catch that, so yeah, they are testing this on Finex, which they might actually bring out a line of uh, Dutch ovens. I want to say maybe the Dutch ovens might be enameled but they would have to, I would say they would have to do something with the spring handles uh, because I don't know if they could do that. That's, you know, specifically place those spring handles without damaging the enamelware. I don't know if they can, I don't know if it could be done because those spring handles, it's not like they have a lot of tension, but there is a bit of tension behind them. So obviously they don't fall out. So uh, I don't know how that will work out, but they might do the Dutch ovens. But if that, they might change up the design on that. And I think the design would only be changed on on, um, on the handles themselves. I think they'd leave everything else intact. Yeah, bookworm. Make sure you rewatch it. It's a scene where they're outside, and it's uh, there's two people talking. There's a shorter person, and uh, he's holding a Finex lid. So yeah, I mean, I I caught it, and I got it excited when I saw that because I was like, oh, sh you know, they might actually do uh, a line for Finex, which, you know, enameled wear or enameled cookware, which, like I said, I'd totally be down with that. And I'd be very happy to buy one of those as well. Um, when it comes to cast iron cookware, I'm, I'm a I'm a nerd. I'm a geek. You know, I, I get all excited for these things, guys. <coughs> Any other questions, guys? Uh, one thing, though, that I, I did mention to uh, Sarah, which is the uh, the, the person from uh, Lodge, was I asked if there was how many layers of um, enamel is, is there on their pieces. And I want to say there's a minimum of three, which is, I think, similar to uh, Le Creuset. So I think they do about three layers of uh, enamel spraying onto the Dutch oven. So... Uh, this this enamel is going to hold up and I, I think it's going to do really well and um, i want to say it's very tough if you guys watch that documentary not only did they you know stress test these they actually had a steel ball and they would you know like uh, put a lid or a dutch oven uh, on the bottom of a with a tube on top of it so there was a tube on top they would put a steel ball and i think it was like four or five feet and they would drop it and that would just, you know, they, they wanted to test to see how strong their their bond was, the enamel was with the uh, iron. 
and uh, they did a lot of testing. So they stress tested these uh, like no other. So I'm very, very happy with what Lodge has done. So for those of you that are, you know, questioning whether this is going to be worth it or not, and especially spending this kind of money, uh, and whether Lodge is uh, going to hold up for a long time, I, I think that they've they, they've done their work, and they're not going to put out something that they're not, you know, sure of. So I, I'm thinking that they they're very sure. Like I said, they did a lot of testing. So three coats of enamelware, at least from what I know, um, you know, but that's not 100%. And uh, it's similar to uh, Le Creuset. Le Creuset does three, three thin coats of enamel uh, and then they sh you know, place them in the uh, furnace to bake. <coughs> Let's see, anything else, guys? <clears throat> Rick. Rick says, Marquette does the steel ball with uh, their stuff too. Yes, uh, Marquette has actually really, really great enamelware. I got sent their six quart Dutch oven and, um, you know, they, they approached me and um, my rep there, I forget what her name, I think her name might've been, was it might've been Ellie. I might've been that, but I, I can't recall her name. And uh, she helped me out a lot. She sent me a, uh, but their finish is actually matte. So it's a matte white. And uh, they actually also did a lot of, you know, testing. Uh, the only difference between Marquette and Lodge is because uh, Marquette is made in China and that's the reason why there's a price difference because if you go to the Marquette website yeah they do sell the six quart for I think $80 and the smaller one which I think is a five or four quart that one's going for like 80 so it's like 90 to $100 on the bigger one and then a little cheaper on the smaller one so if you guys if you guys are interested in the um, in the uh, Marquette, I, you know, that's a great alternative as well, along with the Lodge. Uh, those are the ones that I recommend. Um, uh, Crock-Pot is great as well. Uh, Cuisinel, I think has Cuisinel or Cuisinart. I think it's Cuisinart. They also have their, their own uh, enamelware. Um, <coughs> I, would, I would not, and I'll be honest with you guys, I wouldn't do any of the like Marshalls or um, what's the other store that sell those those um, enamel pieces, I, I would stay away from those. Those don't, don't look that great. And the enameling, uh, I've, I've actually seen those in person. It's, the enameling isn't that great. The, uh, it starts to like chip. It's weird. Um, so I, I wouldn't trust those. But if you guys are you know on a budget, I do recommend Marquette, Lodge, and uh, Quiznart. Those are great. But uh, even the Martha Stewart and some other lines are okay. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Sorry. I'm telling you, I, I, something. I went outside and there's a lot of wind. Uh, Debbie says, I can't find your email. Yeah, um, just leave me a message after this video uploads. Just leave a message on this and then I will, you know, like a comment and I will contact you uh, after that and send you my information so that way you can contact me. But yes, yeah, just uh, most likely this will upload by tomorrow. Uh, so tomorrow, just, just you know, um, send me a message. Just leave like winner. Um, Let's do winter uh, 12 inch skillet. Just do that winter 12 inch skillet and then I will uh, see that message and then I will get to you, okay? So Debbie, uh, make sure that you leave me a comment on this video once it uploads. All right guys, if you guys uh, are, I think done with the questions, I think I will catch you guys uh, next time. So hopefully by next week, I will be fully moved in and uh, we'll be cooking on this and next week. So don't miss it, guys. Let's cross our fingers. I'll let you guys know before the week, before the day comes. Uh, I'll let you guys know whether we will be doing that that big giveaway uh, next week. We're going to do something big. Uh, I'll probably bake something. Um, most likely like a uh, fluted cake or something. Uh, I'll, you know, I'll figure something out. We'll do something. Or I might just cook something on the enamelware. But we'll do something, guys. Something big for next week as a... Um, like a house, housewarming, you know, live stream. So once again, I appreciate everybody. Debbie, congratulations. I will reach out to you or reach out to me on the comments and then I will reach out to you. So with that being said, congratulations to Debbie. And uh, once again, I appreciate everybody. I thank you guys for being here. Uh, and I will see you guys on the next live stream. Once again, don't miss next week. Put the word out, guys. Let everybody know. 
we're going to do big stuff next week. So with that, I appreciate everybody. You guys have a great weekend. Stay safe. Keep warm. Uh, if you are in a cold place, I heard Colorado had snow um, uh, or stay cool. Make sure you're indoors. Turn on your ACs and have a good weekend. Stay safe, everybody. Good night.